Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and today we're going to have a chat about wet and dry nitrous setups and what we're going to choose and how we're going to go about it and the goals for the territory this year. We got a 16.69. So as you guys know, we got the territory here, the oversized Falcon, and we've been working away at it over the last year or so. But the content on the channel has been a bit sporadic because I got married, gone on a honeymoon, all that sort of stuff. But as you guys would have seen, chucked a couple of videos out on the honeymoon, the big road trip in this thing. And yeah, now it's time to get back into it finally, get some car content going and get cracking on this thing. So there was a couple of things to talk about. Like originally we were chucking this nitro set up, got that over there, onto this barrel. But I've been thinking about it and I think we might mix it up and do it differently. Typical fashion, this bloke ruining the video. But as we were saying, if you guys have been around the channel, you would have seen me put nitrous on the Nissan Pulsar. As you can see we had a bit of luck with that it was good fun we we're running a 50 wet shot now i was going to run a 50 wet shot on this maybe a 75 but i figure I may as well experiment a little bit differently because we've got a wet system but we can run it as a dry system and unlike the pulsar we have the ability to add fuel in the ecu if we need to as we go so ideally we want to take this to the drag strip and improve on that time that you saw in the start of the video and yeah so I'm thinking we run a dry, set, a dry setup on this. Now I'll explain to you the difference. So what we have here, nitrous fogger, as you can see, fuel, nitrous goes in one, fogger there comes out one side. Now that sort of thing is going to go down in here somewhere. And then we're going to mount the solenoids up there. Well, if we do a wet setup, but we only have to mount one if we do dry. Now this will still work because the, they're not like joined together, it fogs right at the end there in the nozzle. So we can run a dry setup because we can tune the ECU to add a bit more fuel as we go. Like say if we go to the drag strip, which is the plan for this. We want to try and like start off with get into the 15s. That'll be fun. Uh, a couple of things to be done to do that. But also running a dry setup is really easy to set up. I just have to literally chuck the bottle back in, run the lines underneath the car, and then bang, straight in there. And yes, it is more risky because in a wet setup, it you put the right jets in the end there, you know, for the right size horsepower shot and the fuel to add to it. And that accounts for the extra fuel. But we can probably run a 35 dry shot, just straight off the bat. Well, we're going to find out anyway if we can but that's the plan we'll run a 35 then we'll go up to a 50 see what happens and if we need to at the drag strip we can get old linton on the ecu pcm tech and we'll add some more fuel in there but one of the reasons to run dry is because i have noticed running other wet setups there's a little bit of a bog down that's because you're spraying the fuel and the nitrous in there all at once and yeah, I think you're probably going to get a little bit off the start if you don't go wet set up. But that's the fun of this. A bit of science. See what we can do. So that's the plan of attack. There is a few other things we want to do though because obviously this sitting right here isn't ideal for intake temps. And I'm thinking maybe we'll put something down in there. And we've got this nice ants filter. So I want to try and get that to fit. And... Lots, literally, you can see the new battery are chucked in there too. But, you know, there's other things like we can improve on the back here. Going to go for a 17 inch rim 
and we'll go for the lowest profile tire we can get really utilize those diff gears we have in there because they come with three sevens from stock really shorten down that first gear in the big old btr we're going to try and change the air intake up like i said and there's also little things like old mate rust there that needs to be addressed and also this year we'll dump it on its tits get this thing nice and low and eventually Besides going to the drag strip, I want to take it in a hill climb. I want to do a few tarmac rally events. Just because, why not? This will look pretty funny going up a hill climb. And with a nitrous bottle hanging out the back, should make for a few laughs. So, in conclusion, territory, nitrous, dry shot, lowering, New air intake, and we're going to just do some general stuff on it. It should be, uh, should be a good year. I'm looking forward to making some videos, getting this to the drag strip, and then maybe doing some extra kind of stuff in it, because why not? Little, little NOS bottle hanging out the bottom there. Should be fun for some people. Anyway, guys, looking forward to it. Thanks for watching, as always. Till the next one. See you later.